Hi, I'm Margaret Lewin, and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today we're going to be working on part two of this wall hang. Last week we worked on the pinwheel blocks, and today we are going to be working on what was a panel. So last week when we were going through this, I told you I was going to show you how we were going to cut that panel apart. There was a bright green on it that I just didn't care for, and I wanted to get rid of it. So today I'm going to show you how I completely did that and how I put together this wall hanging. Now this fabric is by Michelle Palmer and it is called Quilting Bee and I hope you like it as much as I do. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I did this. And at the end, if you'd like to pop on over to my website to pick up a kit, please do so. Now that my pinwheel blocks are all sewn and done, my next step is, is I need to cut these up so that I can square these up and then make them all into 12 and a half inch blocks so that they'll match up with my pinwheel blocks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open this up and I want you to notice something about it. When you're looking for panels, I love to get panels that have all of this space in between because what I then can do is decide, decide exactly how I want to finish these blocks off. I could actually just leave them like this and those could be sashing strips. Or in this case, we're gonna cut these up. So the first thing I need to do is just take my scissors and just cut somewhat evenly in between my panel. So I'm going to do that. My first cut is this way. And then I'm going to take it, turn it sideways, and I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to do that to all six of my blocks, and then I'm going to show you how I have to trim them up a little bit more. My scissors are giving me a hard time, aren't they? So here we go. Here's another cut, and it's okay that they're rough. They don't need to be exact. And you could do this with a rotary cutter, that's fine. I just happen to have my scissors right here. So I'll be back in a few minutes. I gotta go get some fabrics together, and I need to finish cutting this up, and then I'll be back. The first thing that I did was went through my pinwheel blocks and measured them to see what they came out to. And they basically came out to 12 and a quarter inches. So it must be I was sewn with a real fat quarter of an inch when I made them. So I need to get these squared up to the point that I'm gonna be the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is take my nine and a half inch ruler because this is what I'm starting with. And I'm gonna line up the quarter of an inch all the way around this piece because I want my piece to pretty much float so what I want to do is I want to get rid of this green that's going around it. I just want um, some of this white and um, my border fabric, which this is how I'm bordering it. I'm going to take that background fabric and put this right around it. What that's going to do is give it the illusion that it's floating because it's the same as the background fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is square this piece up. And it's not abnormal by any means, shape, or form for these to not be perfectly square. They very rarely are. Um, this one actually is really good. So don't be upset if your panel is not perfectly square here, okay? That does happen. So you can see I've got my quarter of an inch line and I'm just gonna trim that off the two sides and then once I've done that, I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to trim it again. All right. So I'm just lining it up again at my on my two sides here. See, I've got two sides going here. Just getting it nice and lined up so that I'm good to go. One of the nice things about this is because we're putting a solid color border, at the very end we are going to be square because 
if we've got any difference in this, so if it's not perfectly, perfectly square, it will be because we're going to put a solid border around it and make sure that that is perfectly square. So we're kind of fudging things a little bit today, which is different for us, but it's a very good learning experience. All right, so I've lined it up again on my edges and I've got a decent quarter of an inch all the way around and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna trim this part. The next thing I'm gonna do is I've already cut two inch strips. And what's going to happen is I'm going to take my two inch strips, got a whole bunch of them sitting here, and I'm just going to line them up all the way around. So what I will do is sew the top and the bottom first, then the two sides, and I'm not sure if I'm going to press them in or out, but I'll obviously do it one way or the other. First thing I'm going to do though is cut these in half because I don't need that great big huge piece. So there's enough here right now that I've got cut up to do two blocks. And we've got a total of six to do, so don't forget that. So I'm just gonna clip these. I'm gonna go over the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew my top and my bottom. And then my two sides. Once I'm done with that, I'll come on back and we will do the next step. All right, you can see at this point I have sewn all the way around and I did end up pressing everything out and now is all I'm going to do is take my ruler here's my ruler and I need this to be 12 and a quarter so I'm going to line this up using any one of my inside blocks as a test of where it needs to be and I've got my eighth over here in my eighth over here so that I can um, test it out and make sure that I'm good. And I'm gonna start up here. So I'm good on my two sides. I'm gonna trim this. Right. And I'm just gonna pick it up and flip it around, moving the extra little shreds. Turn it over, make sure it's nice and flat again. And now I can do my full blown 12 and a quarter, lining it up. There's my 12 and a quarter. There's that. You can see I'm a little bit more than 12 and a quarter. I'm a little extra fat there. So I'm gonna line it up here. See, I'm lining it up at the bottom. I know my two sides are a little bit fat, so I'm gonna cut this off, trim this good, and now I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna rotate it, all right? And now I'm gonna line it back up again. And I know then I'm square on two sides. And see, I've just got a little bit extra over here. So I'm just gonna square that up. And now I've got my 12 and a quarter inch block. So I'm gonna do that for all six of my blocks. Then I'll come back and show you how we're going to go about taking these blocks and putting them all together. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you'll enjoy it while we made this really simple, easy, quick wall hanging. So I really thought this one was adorable and I am so happy with the way it turned out. I'm gonna be binding it with this adorable bumblebee fabric and I think that just will tie it all together. Please, if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If you haven't, don't forget to do it so that you make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. And while you're subscribing to YouTube, pop on over to my website. My website is Miss Markers Quilts. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter so that you can find out what projects are going on next. And last but not least, if you're not part of our Facebook group, 
you might want to reconsider because we are having an awful lot of fun over there. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.